The chairman of Saraga Peace and Good Order Committee and Community Development Association, Paul Meyer, said the chaos transpired over a phone that was snatched from a police officer by a youth from the Six Mile Saraga area. He said out of suspicion that the tug is from Goilala, 16 police vehicles carrying fully armed rogue officers attacked the community by surprise. Imagine, this guy is fully armed. They took us by surprise and we're harmless. We're really harmless. The mothers, the kids, and we older people, and plus the rest of the community, we went looking for a place to hide. And most of us end up in the drain, putting our nose in the sewage water. And it is not good enough. Once is enough. But the next morning they arrive here again. They terrorize us. They put down 12 houses. 12 of houses today. The chairman said the Ivani community have settled in the Saraga six miles since 1962 and have never experienced such dilemma. I mobilized all the 34 groups around uh, six miles and we combine together and we look after our little uh, tribal or ethnic areas. And we've been maintaining law and order up until now. Anytime a local police station needs assistance, they come here, we assist them. Anytime they need assistance, we go out and give them assistance. We've been maintaining law and order here in this uh, uh, ward. And we've been uh, working cooperatively with, with, with our policemen here. The Evanis are now calling on their representatives in the House of Parliament to allow for an independent investigation into this matter. We've been int intimidated far too long. And what we experienced last night and this morning is giving a very bad signal to us, this country, and international community. If they were to get rid of us that night, it would, be, it would have been another history. In this history of National Capital District and Papua New Guinea. Meanwhile, attempts to get comments from NCDC Met Sub Silva Sika were unsuccessful. Malinta Yopolo, National MTV News.